Hi everyone, welcome back to Mix Vig. Today's video is going to be showing you um, my minimal, not really minimalist, I'm not a minimalist, but a just the basics, back to school shop. We still have another month until back to school because we don't go back until after Labor Day weekend, but I've been seeing lots of back to school videos and I have everything I need, so I figured I would just get ahead of the game and show you what I bought. So. I'm going to start with the lunch items and then I will show you the clothes. Um, so yeah, let's get started. All right, so I um, actually bought this Yum Box, the tapas for my husband and he's been using it with the insert that it came with, which is this one. But um, he's been saying it's not enough food for him. So he wants me to pack him two full of those. So I bought him a Sistema Bento um, lunch kit and that holds about twice as much food as the Unbox Tapas. So he's been using that and liking it. Um, I'll probably still pack this for him sometimes, like when I have leftovers that need to be leak proof, but I'm also probably gonna start using it for Carter. Um, our kids are weird. They eat a lot in the fall and winter, like when school first starts. I don't know if it's a comfort thing or if they're just not super comfortable with their classes, so they um, do spend their time eating. But in the fall, winter, they eat a ton. And then in the spring, summer, they don't eat quite as much, sometimes like half the amount. So I'm thinking this will be what I use for fall, winter to make sure they have enough food. And then I'll use their original items, just strewn about over here, um, uh, in the spring, summer. So let me show you what the tapas look like. Um, I actually bought a new insert for this one because I don't think Carter needs the sandwich style insert. Um, so I think this will be perfect for a snack or treat, um, fruit, vegetables, and maybe yogurt, and then like half a sandwich. So we'll see how that goes. And then Isla, um, I'm also using this young box for myself, but I only work a couple days a week, so I'll use it sometimes and then she can use it sometimes. And then I'll just pack her original with a thermos or something on the other days. But this is what it looks like inside, the same. Um, I think that this will hold a good amount for her. I probably just won't fill it quite as much as I do for myself. Um, so kind of unintentionally, because I bought the lunch bags first, I was more concerned about finding one that fit the tapas than I was finding one that matched. But funny enough, this one just happens to match perfectly with the gray. Uh, flat iron gray is that what the color is called I think I think so it matches perfectly and then the blue one which I plan to get for myself matches perfectly with this unicorn lunch bag I got these at winners they were only $13 I was really happy because I was planning on ordering a Herschel lunch bag which is like 40 so I'm happy that this fits um, and it matches the boxes I got so that's great they also have uh, I bought these at the end of the last school year, just these little hand sanitizer things. Um, I don't know if they'll really need them because I'm pretty sure kinder or grade one, whoa, grade one teachers are pretty on top of getting kids to wash their hands, but I thought these were cute. So this matches the lunch bag Isla has, and then I got this frog one for Carter. For some reason, there's way more girl hand sanitizer um, lunch bag things than there are boy version ones. Not that there's anything wrong with them having a girl one, but I think he would want a blue sort of one. So I got him that. Um, and that's everything for the lunch items. Um, I'm going to show you in a minute how the Yum Box fits inside. Right, so as you can see, it fits pretty well. I was a little worried that it might be hard for the kids to get out. So I had them practice and both of them got it in and out with no problem. Um, it's not even a super tight squeeze. It just fits really well. So I'm happy with that. Um, and then I'll show you just how this fits in here in Carter's lunch bag. So just pop it in and you just have to push the corner a tiny bit. So yeah, there it is. And I wanted to show you on these lunch bags too, if you open this zipper, there is a compartment here for extra snacks. So I have um, a couple other containers I'm going to show you that can fit in here nicely. The Sistema 2 compartment um, containers, so I'll probably use that for their snack. And then on the other side is this pouch and my receipt <laughs> um this pouch which i think i'll probably just put like the odd time i send them a juice box i'll put that in there or maybe utensils i'm not really sure um but i'll definitely use it for something um i'll go i'll go grab those system 
lunch containers and show you. Okay, so here's the Systema two compartment containers. Perfect size for snack, because I can put like a cracker or cereal or something and then a fruit on this side. I figure that um, like these are enough food for them, or these will fit enough food for them for the entire day on their own. So either I'll pack these or if Steve and I are using them, then I'll pack the original with this for their snack. So we'll see how that goes. I think that this holds the same amount of food as this. So that'll work pretty well. I'm going to move on to the clothes. So I already, I don't really buy back to school clothes all in one go. I sort of shop throughout the year. I don't buy a whole bunch right in September. Um, it's easier budgeting wise and I prefer to, um, buy things as I see good deals. So whenever Old Navy or Children's Place have clearance sales, I grab up whatever looks like it'll fit them or I'll buy it in a size bigger. Um, so that's what I've done mostly. Uh, at the end of spring this year, I went and bought the kids a ton of clothes, like probably at original Old Navy prices, it was probably about $500 worth of clothes, but with all the bargains and markdowns and clearance sales, I got them for about 200. So I was super happy with that. So they have a ton of clothes that are sitting in their drawers right now. They've maybe been worn once or not at all and they're ready for back to school. So I don't wanna go dig all those out cause um, I can't even remember exactly what I bought, but maybe I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. Um, after this clip, I'm not tech savvy enough to put it in as the video is playing, but let me show you what I bought them. Um, for specifically for back to school. So they obviously needed shoes. These are actually shoes that I did buy in the spring. They're on clearance for $9 and they're super nice. These are for Carter, just some high top shoes. The kids love the style of shoes. Um, and then I also, this I got him just a few days ago. So part of the back to school shop, I got him these old navy just slip on shoes. They're blue and gray. Um, these will be really easy for him to get on, uh, probably a lot easier than these. So we might start with these, see how it goes, and then switch to these or just go back and forth between the two. But these were on sale for a good price and they looked really nice. So I decided to get them for him. Isla, I got her these high top shoes. I got these at Winners and they are so pretty. And I think she'll be okay with wearing them because she likes gold. She doesn't like pink or purple as I mentioned in my tomboy outfits video but she likes gold so I got her these and they have a heart pattern I really really like them oh she d d she can't tie her laces by herself yet so I'll just keep these tied for her and hopefully she can slip them on um I didn't get her a pair of slip-on shoes because she still has these shoes from springtime that are still in okay condition she's obviously worn them a lot but they have a lot of wear left in them these are filthy but uh they have a ton of wear left in them so she's gonna keep wearing those into the school year these will probably be destroyed in like a week or two anyways let's be honest and then the only clothes that i bought them specifically for back to school um were these two outfits from old navy so isla got this shirt she i showed it to her i asked her what she thought and she said she loved it so i got her this little navy and white striped shirt um, with this little heart um, wearing sunglasses. She thought that was really cool. And I got her a pair of jeggings. All of these were like on clearance or sale for like $6 each. It was such a good deal. So I got her these jeggings. She loves wearing jeans. She's not a leggings girl. I don't know why because they're so comfortable, but she doesn't like them. So I got her jeggings. And then for Carter, this shirt was on clearance too. And I thought it was so cool. I love shirts that have... A, like a darker pocket design or a solid pocket that stands out um and i love the ombre effect of the shirt so this was on clearance for 4.99 like ridiculously good deal and i thought it was a really cool looking shirt and then i got him a pair of these skinny jeans um he's gonna be a tall skinny boy like his dad so uh, skinny jeans tend to fit him better than regular so i got him a pair of these um i think that he will like them. I'm not sure if they'll end up actually wearing these on their first day of school. Like I had in mind that I was buying a first day of school outfit, but Isla definitely will wear hers. Carter, he might, depending on the day that school starts, he might be with his mom or he might be with us. So I'm not sure who will have the responsibility of dressing him. And then I wanted to show you their backpacks. So I don't buy new backpacks every year. I bought cheap backpacks at the start of last school year and they got trashed within a month, like zipper broken, falling apart, nasty. So at Christmas, 
I shelled out the money to buy them nice backpacks. Isla's was about 60 and Carter's I think was 40 or 45. I got his at Winners and hers at a sports store. So she has a Burton backpack. Um, she picked out the Olaf pattern on it. Um, I plan on using these for a few years. Um, that's why I invested the money. I didn't want to have to throw out backpacks a couple times a year. So I got these. This one, the only thing wrong with it is that... Um, or not wrong, but the only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have cup holders on the side, but this does fit a water bottle. So that does work as long as we have a leak proof water bottle in there. This is for a skateboard, which Isla thinks is hilarious, but obviously that won't be used anytime soon. Um, it has a little pouch inside here for her folder and that's it. So, and then Carter's over here. It's about the same size. I prefer this size to the little mini kitty style. Like I wanted the Dekine um, kids size backpacks but they're just too small they don't fit enough they only fit like a lunch bag and that's it and I wanted them to be able to fit a little bit more like when they bring stuff home from school or if they want to bring something for show and tell I wanted them to have a little bit of space a little space to grow into it right so and I also wanted um, to try and have just one compartment for everything Carter's I thought was one compartment but it turns out that there's a compartment back here too for a laptop or something. I guess this is meant for a teenager. And then there's a compartment up here. So this compartment he doesn't notice, but there's been a few times where he's put his lunch bag in here and I freaked out thinking that he forgot it at school until I realized it was just shoved in here. So most of the time everything goes in the one compartment, so that's good. But this is what his looks like. It has kind of a gray and blue design. So I thought that that was really pretty or pretty handsome, nice looking, I don't know. But that is everything for my back to school minimalist haul. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, so I know I signed off, but I wanted to show you quickly the size comparison between the two Yum Boxes. Um, the original, uh, the six compartment one, it holds two cups of food food I believe wait one two two and a half plus this little treat well so two and a half cups of food in here and this one holds four cups so when I pack Isla or Carter the original I really cram it full of food because they really need every last bite of it and I usually have to give them one or two smaller things on the side like yogurt or like I said I want to use those Systema containers because I'm trying to reduce waste this year um so I'm thinking that when we use the tapas it won't have to be filled quite as much. I think that what they really need is probably about three, three and a half cups of food. So I'll just pack this one a little light, like maybe I'll fill up to like here or so. Um, but this can, or this container I think will work well for her. I can put like pita, cut up pita in here, hummus in here for her. I can put a half sandwich, like a ham and butter sandwich, which she likes for some reason. Um, crackers or yogurt in here and then a fruit and veggie and that'll work out well. Also this little, um, or little this dip well here holds an entire Oreo so I won't have to buy like mini treats to fit in here even though she does like that um, so that'll be nice and it does fit a whole sandwich if you use these cutters um, this obviously doesn't fit in but when the sandwich is cut it does fit in there so that's great um, and then I've heard that the dinosaur one fits too um, you just kind of have to squish the head in a bit so that's uh, that'll be great as well. Isla won't eat sandwiches with crust on them anyway, so this will work. But the original actually will fit an entire sandwich if you cut it with this. And I've heard it will with this too, but I've only experienced, or I only have personal experience with using this. If I cut a whole sandwich with two pieces of bread using this, as long as the filling is light, um, like peanut butter or just a slice of ham and some butter, um, the entire thing will fit in here. You just have to puzzle it in. You put, I just put two pieces down here and then stack two on top and then it's jam full. Like I wouldn't put yogurt in on days that I send a sandwich in here, um, but it will fit. So that's a way that you can pack a little bit more into the original. But like I said, this will work really well as long as I have a side container for snack time. And then on days that I want it all in one container and days that I'm not using it for work, um, I'll send Dila with this. Anyways, so <laughs> now I will see you in my next video. Bye.